Hello everyone! Welcome back to our YouTube channel and as you can see, we are continuing a series of my London trip vlog. Today is extra special as I'm visiting London with my cousins. Can you feel my excitement? I'm thrilled to explore London's history, culture, and iconic landmarks again. The city's energy is incredible and there's so much to experience as I leave out my bucket list. <laughs> Welcome to London. Welcome. There you go. Thank you. Wow. I never thought I'd be jumping on another train ride to London. One minute I was going through and packing my things and the next I was exploring the iconic landmarks like the Big Ben, River Thames, and the London Eye. As I go through each precious photos, I can't quite comprehend all these unexpected blessings. Our very first hop on. Guys, I wrote all the places I've been during the ride. I'm truly embracing being a tourist in London. Champre, it's a mix of excitement, discovery, and appreciation for the city's rich heritage and modern appeal. Grabe guys, hindi ko alam kung saan ako titingin cause it's, there's so much to see. But I'll say that the experience is often fast paced. But it's always filled with memorable moments and a sense of awe at the many famous places. Mapapa wow ka talaga. Grabe. You will be amazed. Kaya, let's continue with our journey. Our first destination is the Buckingham Palace. As you may know, it serves as the official residence of the British monarch in London and stands as one of the city's most recognizable landmarks. My mom has always been a huge fan of Princess Diana, which is why I grew up surrounded by countless photos of the palace in magazines and books. She would purchase numerous publications to stay informed about the royal family's lives. Being here feels like a dream realized. And seeing the palace's balcony brings back memories of the times my mom and I would watch documentaries about the royal family together.
guys, we are now here at the Royal Muse. This historic stable complex is located at the Buckingham Palace. This part of the palace is responsible for the transportation of the British royal family. It houses the state carriages, coaches, and horses used for ceremonial events like coronation, state visits, weddings, and state opening of parliament. Among the most famous vehicles is the Gold State Coach, which you will see later. This coach is used for royal coronations since the 18th century. Guys, look what we found cruising through the street of London. It's the afternoon tea bus tour. This is perfect if you're looking for a combined sightseeing and afternoon tea experience. I think this costs about um, 45 pounds to 75 pounds per person, depending on the company and the choice of package. Guys, I'm getting more and more excited. We have arrived at Piccadilly Circus. This is London's most famous and bustling landmark. It's referred to as the Times Square of London. I think it's located at the junction of several major streets, including Piccadilly and Regent Street. It's near the popular attractions like Leicester Square, Soho, and West End Theatre District. Another exciting part is we're having lunch at Happy Bar and Grill. I think this is a popular Bulgarian restaurant located at the heart of the city near the Piccadilly Circus. I highly recommend this place for its cheerful ambience, generous portions, and friendly service. And also, of course, their delicious food.
Chinatown. At Chinatown. Wow. <laughs> no, no, they don't go to last experience. Huh? <laughs> no. Ayan, Jollibee! Oh, let's just go! hakbang na lang pala, Jollibee! This is how this is Oh, ma! Oh, wait! Sino ka muna? Kunting hakbang na lang pala, Jollibee na. 